Hi, John Wanaya here. Uh, today, 27th of uh, August 2016. Currently, I'm in the Te Horo Marae at Port Awanui at the present time. Uh, it was 6 o'clock, just after 6 o'clock when I arrived here. And um, Iru Painga, the Kaumatua here, the Tomata of the Marae chief. I had some discussion with him, and now I um, am just waiting for anyone to turn up to hear the presentation. Um, so we've got our um, meeting for the um, landowners here on the block, give them an opportunity to hear what I have to say on this day. It's a beautiful sunny day, uh, blowing. It was raining last night all the way down from Auckland. So um, um, this is the only time I have left to put on a presentation for the Tidal Turbine Bridge, Maui Tidal Turbine um, Bridge Construction um, Project on the Ranfilly Bank. And uh, so um, uh, then we have a um, local meeting first at 10 o'clock shortly, and then from then, the landowners of Hiringa A12, Hiringa A11, and Hiringa A10 blocks. So they've got an opportunity to be here today with me. Uh, though I'm one of the applicants for the um, lease of the property uh, that's um, had the wallet ties on before, so it's a 5x5 five five lease. And I'm hoping to um, win that lease uh, on the 1st of October um, 2016. I've signed up with Te Tumutumu Paeroa. And at this stage, um, the land is still under lease and um, I can't enter it at this stage. Though I wanted to go and take some films of it today. It was a sunny enough day to do it. But uh, that won't be so. So I'll be heading straight back to Auckland after the hui. And um, whatever result comes out of that is going to have a bearing on whatever happens to this project that I have. Uh, so it's all online. If you missed the meeting, if you don't come to it, you've got other prior arrangements. A lot of people are going to the East Coast Poverty Bay rugby match today in Tamati Reed, my Komatua chief down at Rangituki on the Haho blocks. Uh, he'll be away today. So uh, other few people will be away as well. So it was advertised as much as it could be uh, in the um, Ngāti Pō radio and also Radio Wātea, 603 AM Auckland, beaming around, and also on Facebook. Uh, we have got uh, a fair bit of coverage on this project worldwide. So if uh, they miss the opportunity, it goes global as soon as I let the shares out from next week, uh, registered in the company's house in London already, Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited um, Company, corporate, is ready for business in anything in the sea and any projects that we have, uh, like the Tidal Project, uh, will be open for um, market. I'll be putting it on the market uh, because there's no one around, if they're not at the meeting today, then the opportunity is left to the open people. The opportunity was there, and uh, so at this stage, we are early to the meeting. I'll just show you around here. Uh, that's, that's our lunch here in the kitchen. So I'll just show you the surrounds of the place. That's the dining hall and beautiful layout here. As you can see, I'm by myself here for now, and uh, but I'm enjoying the day. And that's the surroundings. The Tomatua, Tomatua lives next door there. We've got a church down there. I just wanted to show you. It might be a bit windy on the um, film, but I just wanted to show you the layout. is pretty, pretty good. I really like it. Here, and hopefully that um, we can have uh, this marae for 
our meetings uh, from other surrounding places. That's my old Gertie Saab car from that church. I don't know what church it is, but anyway, it's a church there. Quite appropriate for um, people living in the area. So we're on the other side of that hill where the land block is, further around the corner or that way, towards the sea. That's the marae there, people. I want to show you a beautiful marae. It says Rakai Temania. Rakai Temania. And that's where the Manuhiri sits, the visitors, and the Pai Pai there for the old Kaumatuas of this marae. So, as you can see, it's cloudy. And, um, So I'm feeling refreshed after having a shower here and refreshed up for my presentation and whoever turns up so far it doesn't appear like anybody's here yet that's okay that's the pollution blocks that's okay I like to have hui's with the two pointers here in the marae there but I can't get in the marae so my uh, respects but uh, all the tupunas in there, my respects to this marae, uh, from me, Hoani, and from uh, Maragano Land Blocks, and now Puetaha um, uh, Tupuna, and Mataru Wanoa, um, and my family to this marae and their uh, ancestors, Tenakwe. That's said and done, and we come here. We had Desmond here with me this morning, but he's gone and scooted off the other way, and <coughs> deal with that later. So there we go, people. It's a bit wet on the ground here at the moment, it's boggy. So that's our day today. We have a tractor for the lawns, and here. This is where the masses come. So I'm here. The tupunas are here with my hui. And that's the way it is. Today, that's the way I'm presenting it to the world. And I have my breakfast there and share it with all the masses of people watching. And all the masses of people who are not here yet. So that's as far as I can tell for some light. I'm enjoying myself today. There, that'll do. Um, so this is as bright as I can get it. On this film, might be a bit dark here, but um, I just want to finish this presentation off to you, people watching, that um, I'm here with. Uh, um, Maui and the Maoris should be here, but normally they come to big hui's when there's something drastic or something exciting, and it appears it's not that exciting. Tidal turbines are not exciting in this area. Although we had uh, Iru here and his son, Kurio, uh, that's two, plus the Desmond was here and me, that's four constitutes a hui. So I get his word and uh, have my lunch and then if no one turns up I go home back to Auckland. In, in this instance this is my presentation as a hui or a meeting on a meeting house and marae at Port Rawanui and that's how I'm presenting it. It's been on the radio, advertised on Radio Ngati Pro, and um, but um, uh, appears that it wasn't on today's uh, uh, panui or um, information in the area. 
uh, it'll check that out. I wonder if I go under the light because I want to make this better. I'll come into here. I'll go into the other room in the cooking place so I can finish my video in a bit of more light here on the this is a nice area of reception hasn't been at all very warming um, because of the interest. It, this, it, all it does, it shows me that nobody is interested in tidal turbines in the sea. Like Iru said, it's a big, big pipe dream. And so my pipe dream, for people watching around the globe, you're looking at me here, at uh, Port Awanui on the eastern coast of Rotori, east coast, uh, nice grow area. Um, this is actually south of the East Cape Island, Fana Okera Island, uh, on the other land block, among the other land block there, the Marangaro C12 block. And at Rangitukia, further south, not far from there, by sea it's uh, about four or three kilometres. That's Rangitukia, on the mouth of the Waiapu River. So we've got that Haho 7B block that we wanted to do something on, and I had to choose that one or the Rangi, well, the Marangaro C12 block or the um, Hitting a, a 12 block to start our projects. Um, so the uh, lease is coming up on the Hitting a, a 12 block. That's what mainly this hui here was for today, this meeting, was for the landowners of the Hitting a, a 12 block. Its um, lease runs out on the 1st of October or 31st of September 2016. So I've put in for that. Um, lease uh, to set up our tidal turbine project on that land block. Uh, now, next door, the C, the hitting a, a 11 block is Richard and Leslie Fisher. So they know I'm having a meeting here today, uh, but um, uh, their lease runs out next year in March the 31st on that block the hitting a, 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 a 11 block. So I'm um, looking at um, trying to carry on with the lease there uh, with them and um, with them to continue on this hitting a, a 12 block. I'm having, if I get the lease, then it would mean that I would leave them to manage it and I uh, would sit in the middle of it to set up all the project by contract to anybody who's going to win the contracts to design the whole place um, for this project, the, the Moai tidal turbines on the Rentrally Bank and the main base office there and buildings and structures. So um, I've had a talk with Richard and he and uh, the chairman of the Heringa Land Blocks, Roger Hideaway, yesterday uh, on the 26th um, uh, Friday, I called in to see Roger um, outline the project and the determinations of what I want to do. And um, he's going along with whatever comes out of this meeting and he supports what I do. I've known him in school kids days and they live he lives opposite where we are next to the Caracas property of Pakarangi Road. So Roger is um, um, 
consenting at least to me doing something on the block at this late age. Uh, I will, from today, plan up what, are, what my intentions are from this meeting. It looks like there's no one here, you see, all silence. So I take that as being just me, Huriho, uh, Desmond and um, Ilu Painga here today. Um, and I've outlined to Huriho and Ilu what my intentions are. And it didn't need the rocket science to, to know that I'm here for something. Uh, so our word will we'll see. He's told me if you get the land, then it's yours to do whatever you want to do on it. And the marae is here for you. So that's all I really came here for, to see the chief and to get his consent, meet him in the person on this marae as a sign of respect to him, the first port of call, to have a speak to him after Roger, and to get his um, um, answer from him directly on whether he thinks it's a good idea. He's got sufficient enough information, but because he's not internet proficient person, that's for the younger ones. It's got internet on here, so I'm about to put the internet on soon to test it all out for any future meetings I have here. Um, uh, then I know I can get online and throw it up on the screen or on the wall. Here I just need to find a white wall in this building and the whole wall will light up from my computer with the project and all the, uh, the presentation, full presentation of it, of the concept idea which is now global. It's all over the world. It's nothing new, it's proven. Concept in the sea to make electricity from tidal waves and waves themselves, tidal turbine or tidal um, uh, sea power to produce electricity. That's what I'm, my main focus on that area in the sea. But we needed to protect the sea and those resources from this marae where I'll get my consent from uh, from Iru, because there's no one at the meeting here, there was no one at the meeting uh, with Tumutumu Paeroa in Gisborne when I went there for their hitting a, a 12 block. There was only me, Desmond, and um, 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 the staff, I've forgotten her name, the, the both ladies that were there, they were there, and, uh, and only us. So we uh, made me the chairman, assigned the document for a hitting a 12 to present to the Maori uh, trustees or Ma Maori land court from the Maori trustees, which is Te Tumutumu Paeroa um, uh, entity. So I'm going along with that uh, at this stage because there's no, I have, I'll report this hui of attendance of whoever turns up. It's just the uh, entry of uh, our minutes of this three. Um, uh, three people constitutes a quorum, or that's the limit of having a public showing. Okay, the public's not here. It was there on this day, right? So for me, it's, I'm not worrying about anybody not turning up. I'm worrying about people not seeing what I'm saying uh, in person to come and meet me. So if there's no interest, it was because they didn't know about it, or it wasn't widely advertised, or they didn't think it was much to go to. Football took precedence uh, as being the order of the day. And anyone around in the area uh, would know from someone else that there was a meeting on today. Whether they think it's a pipe dream, that's their opinion. And I'm saying there ain't no pipe dream. This is a concept that was shown today for everyone to give their comment on. Now there's no comment, you see. I can report this to the Maryland Court and online that 
there's not much interest in what I had to present today. So that's the end of that uh, lot. There's no one can argue after that. They can't say, well, you didn't tell us uh, what you were doing. I said, yeah, I was here. I was here, but um, however, for me, it means a uh, short day in the office. Right? This is my office, uh, that um, I'm remotely here, that Iru has said the marae is yours. I paid for it. I had to scoot back to Rotori. I just got back now to get some more money to pay for it. And that's normal. He's given me a discount, which is a far cry from other marais that charge quite a bit more. So I'm lucky in a way. But that's, I'm, I'm happy with protocol. The marae protocol, I know he's outlined everything, the rules here. So if it's anything that I've learned, it's come from Ngāpui marae. And I've learned a lot over the years how to approach a marae. Okay, so to you Ngāpui marae people watching this video, it's a quiet day in the office today. I really, really like that because I don't have to talk so much today. I can hop in my little Gertie Saab car, Swedish car, and have a nice drive home back to Auckland. You see, because I came all the way here to have a total talk, a little, little tit tat with the locals. And I've advertised it way back online. So if anybody didn't see it, well, uh, that's not my fault. I'm here, but they're not. The Tupun are here. I went over there to say hello to them. All right. Um, but so in all, um, and for the project itself, um, for here, um, Eru did mention, you know, that as long as there's something in it for the marae and for the upkeep of this area, of what he contributed to all these years, to build this place, to build out of the marais, I listened to what he said, and uh, all the work he's put in. You see, I haven't contributed anything here yet. I've only just come with an idea. I've run an idea, he says, oh, I've seen that before. Uh, somebody came here with some sort of ideas like that before. They've all come and gone. You know, those people that came were like myself, entrepreneurs, coming with their ideas. Some good, some not so good, but they put a lot of effort in too. I've put lots of years in this uh, engineering thing. I put a lot of time and effort into research. And now I'm ready to do something with it. Now I still have to raise the funds. I did run across them how I was going to raise the funds with past Facebook and YouTube. Facebook, I've got someone there that's advertising the Facebook site. I'm going to check its authenticity when I get home because they're watching too, you see. There's a billion people that she says that they can contribute to investing in this project. That, that's a mass crowd. That, this is the crowd that I'm in. They're online, they're on the mobile. They're, 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 with the click of a button, they're on. It's here now. I can hook up and tech, test, test this out. I'll show it afterwards on another video that it does work. The internet, if I get the internet, I've got my uh, Vodafone stick to hook up if the internet didn't work, or, uh, no, they've got an internet here I could have hooked into their site, but I can hook in my own Vodafone to see if it works. If it didn't, I'd have to use their um, I ISP to get onto my internet site. I will do that after when Rio comes back uh, to pick the rest of the deposit up um, of this the cost of the Marae today. Uh, so I put the cost on today for everything, the lunch, the, the marae cost, and everything. And Edu says, where did you sleep last night? I said, in the car. That's where I usually sleep when I go to these shoeys. I sleep outside because there's too many people snores inside the marae, and I can snore myself in my car. So that's where I slept last night. Desmond slept in his car in the park 
at the hotel in Rotorio. That's how I do it. For years I've done that because I don't have to bother anybody and no one can bother me. I go in and arrive with a fresh head. Otherwise, they can turn your thinking when people start talking in the middle of the night and you don't have a good sleep. That's the whole problem with Marais. I never sleep properly in them. I prefer to sleep in my little dirty car, right? And no one around. You go up the road and sleep. And then the policeman comes along and he says, what are you doing here? Well, it wasn't the hour fast sleep. Desmond says, well, we're just going through a meeting. Oh, your mate's just up the road. He is. He says, I would say, oh, no, um, I'm asleep. Uncle's asleep and don't want to wake him up. So I missed that little show with the policeman there. He got arrested me for sleeping in a private place, see? But uh, he left us there. Anyway, that was a, a funny sort of thing when I come to Rotorua. Um, uh, anyway, um, I went into the shop, do some shopping, and blow me down, he was there. He's in the shop, I said, hello, and his son, who the hell was there too? Um, I, I said hello, and went straight past, and that's the man I came to see. See? I've never met him before, that's why. Uh, it was a shock to, to know that he was in there and I was there. Uh, and uh, when I came here, he said, oh, I met you already. I said, where? <laughs> so that's a shock for me, um, because I'm in the land of dreams when I go to sleep from a long drive. Four o'clock in the morning, I left Auckland and got there five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, after speaking with Roger Hydewa, he's the chairman here on these Hillinger blocks where we are proposing to go and lease. It, for me, it's a big thing. This is the first time I've ever, ever went to get a land block so they can do something for all those years, at least 15 years to 20 years, 20 years it's taken to just fight to go and get a piece of Maori multi-ownership land, which this is. After everybody else has got it, and I always take my projects to the meetings, and it always comes out negative. No. The answer is no, always no. Today, there's no, there's no no's, you see. I'm waiting for all the no's to come, turn up, but there's no no's. So that makes, makes it a yes <coughs> on that part. And now we get to the serious business of the land. I've come to clear the marae with the chief. We don't need all the other fellows around. They're not here, they know one man speaks. That's the last man on his feet, Iri Paina. So now, it clears the way for me. I don't have to talk anymore I, 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 other than to you people. The mass is watching me perform my duties to the local people, Marae. The Marae is the highest court in the land here. You get your consent from here to do what you want to do so long as he understands a fraction of it, not all of it, he doesn't expect it, but he says, why don't you present it so that he can see the things turning and spinning. I said, oh, we haven't got that far yet because I've had a lot of practice telling you straight that this is this and this is this and this, and go online. The, the, the younger ones watching online know they can tell him how it works, you see. So there's no excuse for not knowing what the turbine does because it's proven fact that they are working in a sea making power, electricity. The only thing is they've got a different way of harnessing the power in bulk, um, mass, um, mass output, uh, being a mechanic here in Tiki Tiki, uh, apprentice with um, uh, Sid Yates, Gareth there, and Ted Garf was working part-time there, he knew Ted Garf, but he knew he was in Acres, Acres Garage, That's, I remember that name, Acres Garage, I think that was Rotoria, and he, um, he was doing part-time work there. Um, I own full time work too, but he came to do some the lighting plants, the um, diesel lighting plants for CJ's in that garage. He'd come and tell me what to do. So I put all the bits together and he'll make come and check them to make sure I've got the screw in the right place. And CJ's was an aircraft engineer and this workshop was spotless. It, I had to wipe all the grease off the floor 
because they had badminton there. They had badminton at night time. So every day I had to clean that floor, rub it down, perfect. All the tools were perfect. They were in all the little cubby holes and all the aircraft books were there. I read them. That's how I came to fly aircraft in Tokoro, in um, Amos Field, uh, Waikere Aero Club there and for products. I went there from the oil rig in uh, Te Kapa 1 and Te Puya oil rigs, right? For Shell Todd, Exploration Borneo Limited, um, Company, Slumberger, um, uh, Buslinger was the boss there, Buslinger. And I worked with uh, a lot of people from Rotoria here and Tiki Tiki in my rugby team. Um, they, so we worked on that rig. Um, uh, as uh, I was a motorman, or the engineer looking after the big engines, V12, V16s, uh, engine, GM, GM uh, engines, and also the uh, roughneck on the deck changing the bikes in the middle of the night and we're raining wet, wet snow, doesn't matter. We still had to work 24 hours a day around the ships and we stayed in the Rutoria Hotel, that hotel where we slept. I was sleeping there and I'm thinking all, all the time we had in there, playing the guitar and singing songs and being stupid uh, and parties and all of that going on in there. We go to work half drunk. We used to go to work drunk and slip one slip and you over the edge with the oil and the mud mixed. We had to mix the mud and the oil into the um, changing the pipes, the oil spill out and spread all over you. Uh, so uh, we live with it smelt like that, smelt of oil and diesel every day. So no use sleeping with someone like that because they just smell of diesel. That poison, diesel poison and all that sort of thing. So that was the life of me here in this area. Pick up just up the road, the oil rig was there, drilling for oil. There's oil here, but they blocked it up before they got to it. See, for later. They're coming. I know where these oil spots are, they stand right on them. Okay, well, someone's here now, so I'm going to uh, uh, cut this short. Um, I'm just doing a video uh, for you. I'll be with you in a minute. I've got the money. I've just finished off this video. <coughs> so, uh, this video, uh, that's Eddie's son, but I'll just explain to him afterwards that um, oh, so somebody else turning up now, it might turn up late. So, that will be for this video today, Saturday, 27th of August 2016. This is John Manoa in Port Awanui, Te Huru Marae, saying good day for now, we'll catch up with you later. Bye.